Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folio here, jumping in again. We've got a crazy high streak going at the minute. Actually one of the best streaks we've had in a really long time. Deleted's coming later, Lazarus we did recently. Ooh, this is... All of these are not being good, there you go. A tainted, tainted Apollyon. We'll go for him. Didn't get some great ones there to start, but Apollyon, tainted version especially. Mwah mwah, a lot of fun. Remember to do the, um... The bloody unlock thing to start with. There you go. Got to start that off. Um, yeah. Ooh. Now, this could have a very unique wisp, but it's also an item that I genuinely love a lot. So, I'm gonna... Fucking hell. I'm, I'm on one heart now, so... The streak is already, um... Already at risk. So, I'm, I'm a little bit scared now. I didn't, I didn't realise that, um... <laughs> immediately crit that guy. I didn't realise that I was going to be uh, having such a hard time getting off those spikes, I'll be honest. Ooh, ooh, I do not like the idea of this room. Okay, okay, we've, we've deleted one of the enemies that was causing me pain in my heart. Okay, as for today's question of the day, what is something that always makes you jealous? What is something that no matter how many times you see will always make you jealous? And for me, mine is... <laughs> mine's kind of silly because... It's, it's not it's not a sort of jealousy where I'd want to be in their position. I want to have it. But it is definitely something that always makes me jealous. Something that makes me jealous is people that are... This, this is going to sound really rude, and it, and it kind of is, but I don't really care. People that are so dumb, they don't even realize how dumb they are, and they can just go through life blissful, blissfully ignorant of everything. And just they're just happy all the time because they're stupid. Like, <laughs> like, goddamn. Like, I'm not trying to say, oh, well, I'm smarter than everyone. But you know you see some people and you're like, oh, my God. But they're like, they're always, like, the happiest people on Earth. They're always just having an absolutely wonderful time because they're just, they're blissfully unaware of literally everything. And it's just like, God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a relatively happy person. Like, I'm not saying I'm sad or anything, but, like, these people seem excessively happy. They're just out there bumbling about life, not really giving a shit about anything at all, always seem happy as Larry. I don't I don't know if they actually are that happy, but they always seem that happy is is the takeaway here. And yeah, I'm like, oh that seems that seems amazing. It, it, like it's kind of like the equivalent of being a cat. <laughs> I, I I realize that probably sounds really, really rude, but I don't really care. It's fine. None of you watching my videos are like that, I wouldn't think. Um, yeah, let's do it. We got a tears up and then a tears down. We also got a bad trip. Um, I don't know if overall we gained or lost tears there. I think we lost tears. I think we got two tears down and one tear up. Anyways, make our way down to the next floor. I'm going to try and wait a little bit for this to, to subside first. I think we lost our soul, our soul heart. That's all right, I've got hiccups right now. <gasps> oh God, they're bad. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Wasn't expected. I went to Nando's earlier today. It was very awesome. Very, very nice. I do love a, a good cheeky Nando's. Me and my friend have like a little mandate where um, every, like once a week we go to Nando's together because we used to work together um, and we used to see each other a bit more often. Uh, but we don't really get to anymore because he's at a different job now. I mean, I'm at a different job, but he used to work with my girlfriend and he no longer does. So I just see him a bit less often now. So me and him, we meet up for a cheeky, a cheeky little Nando's date. It's nice. But today my girlfriend was able to come as well, as well as someone else she works with. So it was a, it's a nice old time. And yeah, okay. So I definitely think I did lose some fire rate out of that because I don't know. I'm feeling a bit hindered right now. But I gained damage and I gained HP out of it. So... Overall, I think we came out of it on top. Right now, I'm, of course, um, looking for a key. And I'm looking for luck upgrades as well. More crits would be right up my alley. More crits would really, really make me quite happy. Alright, take care of you. I love the GMO corn visual that you get. So at least one of these guys is going to break open, because I think there's some more on the other side of the room. I'll let the one in the middle break open. The rest of you ain't getting a the chance. There you go. You poop out a sack boy. There's our key. 
Let's go get our item room going. But yeah, that's something that's, that always makes me jealous. Like, I, I, I've never really felt jealousy over, like, people's possessions. Ooh, I think we'll just take that. I realise I'm not, um, I'm not gulping anything at the net. Not gulping, sorry. Um, I realise I'm not, um, using my active, my abyss on anything at the minute. That did not do much damage at all. But, I think it makes more sense with the items that we've got to just take. That's another key, lovely. By the way, gotta say, I'm, I, I've got to actually go and shout it out now and, and actually think of what the name of the mod is, because I've been talking about it. It's on last updated pretty recently, I think. Um, Shunara's? Sh Sean? Shauna's? Shauna's Resprites? Is that, is that it? Sh Shunara's? Shunara? I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Shauna's. Um, Shauna's Resprites, either way. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic work with these. There is some top, top, top tier resprites going on within this mod. I really, really like them. They look very classic. They look kind of like more like Flash Isaac y. And I, I really like that Flash Isaac look where everything's. Everything kind of looks hand drawn in a way. So it's kind of like. It, it feels more appropriate for the Isaac game. And I, I think they've done a real good job at keeping that turn. You guys are going to explode near me soon, aren't you? There you go. Don't worry, I got you. Okay, th which one's this one again? This is the try shot, isn't it? Yeah, bugger. Yeah, bastard. I really aren't very good at dodging the try shot, guys. Okay, good. You can bugger off with your stupid bouncy shots as well, you. Buddy, get over here, you shithead. <laughs> we got a fucking honey penny from every single poof from this room. That is very unlikely. There you go, you bugger. Right, might not get the devil deal here, because my health isn't so great right now, and I don't remember what these enemies do. Okay, to be fair, actually, I do remember what these do. These guys are a piece of piss. If I get hit by one of them, then I'm going to have to kill myself, because that would be embarrassing. Um, we're good to go. Duke of Flies. Give me some crits. Give me some crits. Give me some tit crits. Crit tits. Let's do it. Gimme, gimme. Not on the bloody flies, you goober. I meant on the boss. There you go. Look at that. Oh, chunkster. What a chunky boy. Now, this is one that I think we can very much um, grab the abyss on. And Jack of Diamonds? What does that do? Cursed Pennies converts all money. Yeah, let's just, let's just go with that, shall we? I got the all stats up one. Hell yes. I love the noise that it makes on that all stats up one. It just makes me feel good. We get four tan-colored pill wisps. I quite like that. Making good use. I always like the items, even if they're weaker, they're weaker um, flies. I like having more of them. It just makes me feel good. So funny to think that Abyss Plus Plus is a mod and not the vanilla way that uh, this character works. It's just, it's such a shame that this never got implemented. It was supposed to be, but never made it to the the full production value it should have gotten to. And I, it, is, it is a shame because it's really nice. Ah, amnesia. Bloody hell. I could be doing without amnesia, to be honest. I kind of did this in a, a little bit of an error, really, because I, I should be going straight for my boss to make sure I don't miss out on uh, my devil deal. But I thought, give this a go. Ah, oh, you bastard, I knew it. I should have just fucking gone for my angel deal. Balls to you. But I was like, oh, I want my money in case I come across my shop. I knew some dastardly fellow was going to come along and ruin my day. You absolute pina colada. How could you? Ooh, thank you for the HP, though. Hello, little mini dudes. Yeah, I like having, like, a lot of a lot of small flies, because um, they do a good job of... Um, a good job of taking out enemies like that that have very low HP. Okay. 
pop in the shop. Ooh, yes. I like that. I like that. And then here we get a puzzle piece, which isn't super good. And we get... Eh, neither of them are really super worthwhile, but having the puzzle piece is nice. Because that... I think once you've taken one puzzle piece, more can spawn or should spawn. Oh, you, you speedy little fucker. Impressive. Don't see that many red hearts from poops nowadays, do we? Got a Wheel of Fortune here. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for. I'll find a way. Goddamn hate the fact that I took an amnesia pill. I should probably do that, to be honest. One bomb for one key while we've got this di uh, disproportionate of bombs to keys is a good idea. That is a mega range upgrade, which I very much like the idea of. While range isn't super valuable, a double range upgrade is good. It seems like, by the way, GMO corn actually reveals all the pills that it makes you take. Because I, I hadn't taken a range up prior to this, so it's actually really kind of a good thing to take just to nerf them pills for the future, I guess. Because it gives you a few positives, then you're in the money, really, aren't you? Okay. We do have a library here. Um, what we got going on? So we've got Book of Lucifer, which is just something we should use now. And then we've got Book of the Leviathan. Plus two keys on pickup. Requires a key to unlock and use it. Upon use, cripples all enemies in the room. Crippled enemies lose their speed over time and die to 12 seconds of losing. Has a special synergy with key trinkets. Kind of intriguing. Not super useful, though. I think I'd rather go with this. And then I can pop that and abyss them both. Seems good to me. I also got a special key wisp for the Repentance Plus one, which is kind of nice. I don't know what it does, but I like the idea behind it. So these guys, I've got to, like, let them birth. Because it can give me enemies or it can give me rewards. My god, I'm finally back. I have been gone for quite some time. So, I kind of just paused because my girlfriend came home. Um, and I was just going to chat to her and say hi. Because uh, she just got home from work. And then carry on the, with the recording. But I didn't quite realise what time it was. Um, do you know what? Let's just pop this Wheel of Fortune down right here. Not not exactly what we're looking for. Um, yeah, and um, she wanted to go shopping. Like, she asked me earlier in the day if, she wanted, if I wanted to go. And I said yes, so... I was like, okay, we can either do it now or after my video, but I'm like, do you know what? I want to eat directly after I finish this video, so let's go do that now. Have we been to our item room? I don't think we have this floor. Um, actually, let's go do our boss now, because then we get uh, we get rid of our curse. That would be very, very nice for me. So yeah, I'm a little, little bit out of sorts right now, because I basically um, took like an hour long break <laughs> between the, when I paused and, and when I'm back now. Uh, so I can't remember where I was commentary-wise at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pivot over to the exciting, exciting news of my shopping trip. Um, ooh, Black Locus increased speed. That's an extremely low chance to drop a random card when killing an enemy. That seems good to me. I'll take that. Um, yeah, and we get our mapping back now, which is super, super nice. Super, super nice. Um, but yeah, like, went out... Had a little walk to the shop. Last time I went to the shop, actually. So there's, there's, there's one that's a little bit further away from us that we go to sometimes. That's the one we went to today. Um, rather than the, the, the Tesco Express that's at the top of the street. Uh, -da 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 -da. Tiny Toma. Do you have any special thingies? Three black spider logos with slight... Ooh, ooh. I really like the idea of that. Broken disc. Um, oh, do we have any way of actually getting that, though? Let's find out. Um, but last time we went... There was a football match on because I live quite close to a stadium. Um, and oh my lord. The um, away fans, they, they were, I think it was Irish fans. And oh my lord. There was like just a sea of green. Oh no. It's going gonna, it's gonna to charge up my other active. Why isn't there a way to choose which one it charges? This is bullshit. This is some bullshit. Right, uh... Let's try and find secret room real quick here. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's very plausible it's actually here. There you go. Oh, that's that's a nice a nice selection of pennies right there. 
Boom bow. Really? I guess they can just keep kind of minusing money off me. We got up to 20. I'm a little bit peeved, I'll be honest. That that battery charge is going to charge my deck of cards rather than my abyss. That that causes me a deep depression. Now, second secret room could have batteries in it, so maybe we'll look for that for a little little hot minute here. Um, maybe we'll do that. Don't know where it'd be, but we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it out. Right, so come back this way. Um, but yeah, and the last time we got kind of stuck, we were trying to make our way home, and there was just an absolute sea. Absolute sea of, um, of football fans that were blocking our way. It was very, very annoying. But we went to that shop again this time. Um, uh, we got another bomb. That's good. And can't be in there. Hmm. Can't be there. Could be here, maybe. Could be here, maybe. Fuck. I don't know where else it could be. I'm very upset right now. All right, let's go back this way real quick, do a little bit of exploring. And yeah, I went today and oh, I got I got some more honey. I got some it's called like orange blossom honey or something along those lines. Some very sort of hoity toity pretentious sounding name. Um and I've been getting it because there we go. It's not even the word battery charges, but but we do have a saving grace in we have the uh, the glass D6, which can actually re-roll Tiny Turmer into potentially better item anyways. So let's do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, because when I went to Greece, I bought two different honey-based things. I bought some honey recce, which is like, I think I spoke about it on the channel before. It's like an alcohol that you all drink out there. Like, you have it after your meal and stuff. So glass D6, hey, that's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. And then we got this, which is 35 copies of a single item. Let's take that on our adventure, shall we? Um, yeah, uh, they have a lot of Raki over there. It's like a palate cleansing alcohol. It's quite strong, but um, they get, I, I tried some honey Raki and oh my lord. I like I don't know why, but Greece seems to be famous for honey. I guess that's just a thing they do out there. Um, and, oh, it was so, so nice. I bought some of that. But then, obviously, after trying that, I'm like, do you know what? I need to get some actual honey as well. Also, another library. Holy. Holy hell. Um, yeah, I guess, I'll, I guess I'll grab both of those. Have we got bookworm yet? I don't remember. We didn't. Good job I tried. Good job I tried. Right. Um. Oh, what the hell? The, um... The charge bar is doing some weird shenanigans right now. It seems to be doubling up. It's like mirrored for some reason. I think that's like some bug with the reflection maybe, but there is also a reflection on the floor. Weird. He's also firing purple rings right now. Also lost my angel chance there. I, I didn't even take pay attention to the fact that I had angel chance to lose. Or potential chance to lose it, should I say. Whoa. Get some of these bad boys. We need uh, need a bit more money before we donate some HP to those. Oh my lord, I'm taking bad hits right now. Honestly, I'm getting so distracted by the um. Oh god, so distracted by the double charge bars right now. The lovers, hell yes. Give me that back. Come back in here and do my abyss thing. Do my abyss thing. Oh, I got three little Zeds look. That's so cute. From the nighttime thing. The the uh, distra I item descriptions didn't tell us what it did. That's a bit of a shame. But we've got three little Zeds, which I'm imagining can sleep on hit. And then we got a purple Herming one, which, well, as you can tell, is doing quite a nutty job of adding Herming, actually. Holy. I like that. Yeah, I'm liking it. Uh, but yeah, I actually bought some honey from... Uh, from Greece as well. It's called like Cretan honey from it because it's from Crete. And oh my god, it's like the best thing ever. So I've been like trying to just live a bit healthier recently. Um, and so I've been having like Weetabix for breakfast with honey and um, a banana. It's been very, very nice. You chopped off both of my dudes. Oh, it's one of you guys. I always get confused when one of you guys is about. I never see you. Um, So I've been having loads of that. Just loads of it. But 
I'm almost already out of it all. I've been using it pretty much every day with my breakfast, and I've almost ran out. And so I had to buy some more. So I, I look, I look for like a, a posh sounding honey because I'm like, I need something fairly posh <laughs> to replace this honey because it is really good. And the new one that I bought, it isn't quite as good. I'll definitely admit, like it's not. It's, it's a bit more processed, but it's still very nice nonetheless. Pop that down. I could, I could see myself using that. I've got some plans first, though. I don't know why this guy has a uh, purple tears. I'm guessing it's from the imp explosion thingy. Holy poop locust with white glow. Half tick rate homing the chance to block. Ooh, that sounds very good. I will most certainly take that. Now we've got two different flies that have types of homing. I like the idea behind that a lot. Stop shitting in the poop, please. Stop shitting in the poop. Yeah, well, I think, I think we've gotten to the point now where our locusts are dealing the majority of our damage, which I think is the position you really want to be in with this guy. Firming shots coming out there. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. We saw an enemy actually get put to sleep there. So that is a confirmation that um, the Zeds apply the sleeping effect, which is real nice, because not only does the sleeping effect put the enemy to sleep, meaning it can't move or shoot, it also means the next hit on it with a tear does double damage. So very, very good indeed. Scratch card there that gave us another scratch card that gave us a moon card. Broken disc. Oh god, that is not a great item to get a broken disc of. I don't think having multiple of those does anything for us, really. Beautiful. A few extra enemies after the fact as well. Oh, we got our angel deal as well. Unexpected, but beautiful. Um, I think we take pentacles here. Could be pretty good for later on. Right. Let's make our way back. I think I'm going to moon card. Let's feed you a little bit. You paid out pretty quick. We got a zealot heart out of that. Nice. I'm not going to pick those up for a second. Damn. Things are paying out like crazy. We got pretty lucky there, I think. We also got your soul, which isn't super useful for us, but we'll take it. Good secret room. I will say good secret room. That worked out fantastically, of course. Our wisps still doing some very bizarre movement that we can't truly understand. Um, shop is probably this way, right? By the looks of it. Oh my god, the wisps. For some reason, the wisps are attached to one of my locusts. That is not good for their health, because they are going to get zoomed off in random directions all the time. I kind of love it, but also it's stupid as all hell. Definitely take Black Candle. Definitely take the Soul Heart. Get out of here. Chance for an extra rune of Soul Stone to drop from opening a chest. Ooh, yeah, I like the idea behind that. I know there was a lot more to read there, but that's... I got my base level understanding of what it does. That's all I care about. <laughs> also, my mini Isaacs um, weren't following me there for some reason. All right, let's play this thing out. Got a card. So justice, not bad. Another trinket. Hey, there's a soul heart. That's what we're looking for. Another. Oh, another two soul hearts. Beautiful. Um, justice is good. Super glue. At the start of each floor, removes a broken heart. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Like, as far as Trinket goes, it's a bit niche, but pretty damn useful for certain characters and pretty damn useful for certain runs. So, wouldn't mind that at all showing up when we had um, Magic Skin. But for right now, not super useful for us. Let's just keep it moving along. Keep it moving along. I think Pentacles did trigger on us getting an item there. I don't know. I think it was Black Candle, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, no that wasn't that. That was from um, our our heart, whatever it's called. I can't remember the heart's name now. The Zealot Heart. God damn it! Really wants us to use the Brick Separator, doesn't it? It's given us one of those like every floor. Considering it can give us any random object, really wants us to use that Brick Separator. Quam. 
Still waiting on a few more luck upgrades. We've got a good amount already, but I'd like to get to like five luck and then the crits really start rolling in. Justice again. And then we got gift card, very good. Um Okay, this could be kind of useful. We'll come back for the donor card. Let's just do that. Ah, oh, really? None of these contenders are champions. That was a waste. Oh, that was nice, though. We got Sworn Protector. White Locust, significantly increased speed and drop shot, uh, block shots. Yes, please. Anything that block shots is real good for us. But yeah, health is in a, in a very, very good position right now, so we don't need to worry about that. Guy's going wild on me there. These guys can teleport, so take him out quickly. Yep. I want to keep my Zealot Heart alive, so I don't want to bother with that right now. Sadly, not a real shot, because we could have used the gift card here. Do get a lot of money here, though. Judgment. I'll play that judgment out, to be honest. Taking a while to pay out, my good guy. There's a luck upgrade, though. I like that. Luck eh. Didn't get anything out of him, sadly, for four red hearts. That is a bit of a shame. Right. Keep moving along. Oop, tinted rock. I see it, I see it, I see it. Also could be secret room as well, so let's... Try and get birth in one. It's not, and I didn't even get birth in one. It's okay though, we got that soul heart rolling. Solin of rolling. Grab that real quick, why not? And away we go. Some hearts in there, but I don't really need them. Don't know where we're gonna use our gift card, I'll be honest. It needs to be somewhere where we still have access to the secret rooms. But it needs to be also somewhere with multiple items. Or something with just a bad item. Light scapula. Soul heart. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use it on that. It's a bad enough item. I do I do now have to find my secret room though. Which currently I do not really have a bead on. Could be here. We've got enough bombs to try a few places. Well, it's not anywhere there. Hmm. Could be here. Not there. Could be down or to the right from this room. I'm pretty sure it's here, actually, now thinking about it. There, there you go. And we get... Job's Le Leper Flesh. Grants the player two broken hearts, duplicates every item in the room. Fuck, if we'd have taken that trinket... <laughs> This would have been so useful. <laughs> That's still really good, though. We'll definitely take that. So basically, this is a Diplopia that we can use for the cost of Broken Hearts, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, I I'm absolutely devastated that we didn't take that Trinket. That would have been such a good player. You want to die now, fella? I love the noise this guy makes when he uh, he throws one. What up? Whoop. Probably take that, actually. No reason not to. Yeah, I like the idea of this leper flesh. We can really have very limited usage of it, but being able to use a diplopia like more than once if if the if the situation calls for it worth it. Like if we see like a brimstone or something. You watch, we'll see a brimstone now before um, before we get it charged. And I'll be devastated. Grab that. Right. Tried to lob a bomb in there, but didn't really work out. Taking a bit of damage. Don't lose the zealot heart, you idiot. That would be stupid. Bacon Grease. Don't know why that's a quality zero, to be honest. Oh, wait. It gives us a... 
An empty hat container, madness. That's just weird. I don't even know how that, what that means. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Give us some fat brown looking uh, fly. One that moves a bit slower by the looks of it as well. We got ourselves a treasure disc. I'm just gonna use that now. Not great stuff there, but decent enough. Oh, that was close. These guys explode if they uh, get too close to you. I don't want to explode. Temesis. Team of Temesis doesn't really matter for us, really, does it? There is um, one of those empty heart containers over there on the floor. Not a fan of those things, but we'll uh, pick it up nonetheless. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, we already picked it up. Okay. Now we have a free revive because a heart dropped on the floor, which I still think is just a bizarre design decision, but hey her. This guy's been a cheeky beekeeper. What's he doing? Got bees in my mind. You bloody got me hit, you goober. Die, fella. Oh. It's just such a satisfying sound they make. Devil's Abacus. This is an item that I cannot use effectively whatsoever. So I apologize for anyone that is expecting that of me because it, it should not be expected in any way, shape, or form, I'll be honest. We've almost got our Leopard Flesh charged up. Of course, at the minute, we haven't really found a good usage for it, and Depths is really kind of the last the last floor we're going to have a really reliable use for it, apart from my like Angel deals. There it goes, charged now. Grab that, whatever it is. Quaker Oats is pretty fun. But I'm still liking the idea of this and thinking there's some potential down the road to make it really insane. Some potential. Oh, I just walked right into those spikes. I do that quite a lot. I've got my finger hovering over the space bar, which I, I normally do, to be honest. But, um, it feels really not okay. Because, um, because if I accidentally press it now, I'm going to end up giving myself a, uh, two broken hearts and getting no rewards. So, I'm being very, um, I'm thinking about it a lot. Making sure I do not press it for any reason. That's a big old bomb you threw there, my guy. My, my turdy fella. How are you still alive as well? Got one of those guys. I'm not super interested, I'll be honest. Okay. We have one of the red dudes. Gonna charm things and heal things in his radius. I do not like the idea of that to perish. Ooh, tainted item room. Don't know what we have that could be tainted, to be honest. Honestly, we really don't have that much. I think it's going to be um, Black Candle. Ow. I'm pretty sure this will be Black Candle. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this version guarantees a curse every floor, but gives us bonuses. Something along those lines. Oh, he's done it now. He's buffed over everything around him. I don't like that. They become, like, mega. So strong. And I'm getting hit tons. Beautiful. Where did I get, where did I get this eternal heart from? I have an eternal heart that I have no recollection of picking up. Also, we just lost, lost a bunch of stats from losing one of our wisps, which is a bit sad. Okay, let's get out of here. That's Bamboosh. We've not really got that much going on this run, to be honest. Not, not that many items. We've not really got any crazy synergies going. We've got, like, this, this Leper Flesh item, but... Like I said, right now we don't really have a use for it. I suppose the reason we have so few items, though, is because we've just got so many different locusts. I keep forgetting about that. Like, our locusts don't show up as items, do they? It kind of be nice if they did, actually. If it still showed the item has been picked up in your item tracker, but it kind of had, like, a little locust icon overlaid over the top of it or something, so you could tell what, um, what locusts you had if you'd kind of forgotten. 
That'd be kind of an interesting idea for a mod. So a slight visual indication of what um what locusts you have. I think that'd work. We will take Dark Path. Use it. A mark, pretty good. Double mark. And bag of bobbies. We got double bag of bobbies. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a hot minute. Um There is more than there was there was four bag of bobbies there for a hot second. There was four bag of bobbies there for a hot second. I don't know if anyone else saw that, but. I, th I have a feeling something glitched out with them. There have been two of them. Oh god, look at how many curses I have. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven curses this floor. Nice. Let the challenge begin. Oh, hello. Mini monsters. I have really low fire rate here, don't I? Yeah, there's de look. There's there's definitely at least three bags of bobbies there, but I only have two. And there's another one behind that other one. Look, I don't know if you can see it. Like the middle one, it's like bobbing behind it. So I think we've got four bags of bobbies here. So I think we're gonna end up with quite a lot of bobbies. We've I mean we've got conjoined here. I just I don't know why my fire rate's so unfathomably low. What the hell? Where did that come from? Take it. Oh, I see now. I was like, how the hell has this happened? Oh, game crashed. I understand what happened now. My Lemmageddon Wisp spawned from the Pentacles item. Right, anyways, be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 